good win for us. 21 and 9. And uh, our guys played exceptionally hard. The four seniors uh, really came to play today. We're very, very proud of them. The fact that Nick lost 16 pounds in two days and, and fought through this virus the last week, and Jonah the same thing. And then Quentin Adlish and Daniel tell me that's what seniors do. We told our freshmen in the locker room that that's what you're supposed to do as a senior. You're supposed to help us win a big game on your home court. And they did that. So we're very, very proud of those guys. Andy, any, at any point in that first half, especially, were you concerned that the turnovers were, were again becoming the same problem you guys Well, Well, you can't coach. Uh, uh, some, some things on the court. They have to go make plays, and you have to be tough with the ball, and you come run through your catch, and as much as you go over and practice, you have to go perform. And, and we, we finally did that in the second half. Uh, Nick didn't run through the one catch at half court, got it stolen again, but that was the only mistake. Uh, but we, we limited our turnovers in the second half and played much better. How did you enforce that point at halftime? Very loudly. <laughs> what, why, did, uh, why was Jonah not playing on Mark? Well, we switched. We, we, he brought him down the stretch, but but Jonah had 23 points, so he needed a little energy to uh, to score for us and make plays. And, and so we did we did uh, put him on him at times during the game, especially the last six minutes. But uh, it's hard to guard Remy Martin the whole game because then you don't have any legs. Yeah. And, uh, he's he's hard, hard hard to guard. It takes a team to guard him. Uh, Coach, you told me really set the tone tonight, especially with his three point shooting. How, how big of a shot in the arm was that for your team? Uh, well, Daniel's had an exceptional uh, second half of the season, and he's really comfortable with the basketball in his hands. He had three assists tonight, which which uh, which is great to see. Uh, I'm sorry, he had one assist, but he uh, he made a couple of nice passes out of the post uh, uh, and moved the ball a couple of times. But he had 19 points, 10 rebounds, and, and uh, was just really solid for us the whole game. Played 36 minutes, and for a guy that big and that size, you know, he, he uh, was really impressed with his stamina because he was just as strong in the last five minutes as he was in the beginning. Andy, what is Jonah? Showing you these last couple games, especially just kind of stepping up. It's well, for him to go through that virus, so yeah, we were out. With four, we were out four guys against Utah on the road, and that's hard to win like that, especially on the road. And, and for him to bounce back like that so quickly, uh, I, I was shocked that he was so good against Arizona, uh, and then um, and then so good. To, uh, I, I expect him to play well tonight because he was he, he had another couple days, two two more days to, to uh, recover. But uh, he, he's just been playing super basketball. Coach, you probably already answered this, but do you, do you get frustrated when you look down at the stats and you see how well you're playing defensively, and then you look up at the scoreboard and there's barely any separation? Well, it's, that's who we are. We have two freshman point guards. Kyle's not with us right now, and we have a sophomore backup, Elijah. Uh, and, and our guard play has been uh, very uh, streaky this year. Uh, with, that's what you do you get with freshman point guards. And, and they're getting better, they're improving, but their best, best basketball is ahead of us, ahead, ahead of them. And at times this year, Jonah was streaky. Now, Jonah's playing great right now, and you tell me he was streaky. And, and so Elijah Weaver's been streaky. So, so we've been winning by committee. The fact that we have 21 wins right now is a, a testament to our defense and, and our toughness. Uh, and that's, we, we understand that. Look, we, we, we scored 57 points against Arizona and won a game the other night. We held them to 48 points. Uh, against uh, the, the, they were seventh in the net, and their offensive efficiency is top 20 in the country. So, so we, we got to figure out, we, we just got to win. You win ugly, you win pretty, it doesn't matter, you just gotta win. Like, like we had Julian Jacobs and Jordan McLaughlin here and, and uh, Chemezi Medsum and Elijah Stewart and, and we used to, and Benny Bowery, we used to run up and down the court, sc scored 100 points five times in one year. We, it was, Julian Jacobs pushed the ball in transition, he'd, he'd go dunk on it, he'd drive it, he'd, he'd be down the court in four seconds. Okay, well that's not who we are this year. Okay, well, well McLaughlin started for the Timberwolves now. Uh, Melton started for the Memphis Grizzlies, Chemezi's on the bench of the Spurs, and Kevin Porter Jr. last year, you know, he's with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So we've had some really good players come here. Elijah Stewart set the all-time three-point record in USC history. Uh, and I think Benny was right there, but Benny only played, uh, uh, he was hurt twice, so, so he missed a lot of play. He would have broke, broke down records. We've had some good players, and we were up-tempo, and we spread the floor, and, and, and we were explosive. Uh, however, this team is completely different, and, and you have to adjust as a coaching staff, and you got to try to win with what you have. And, and, uh, we have five new. We have five freshmen and two grad transfers. We have three returning players, and uh, and, and so we're exceptionally proud of our players. To be where we are right now at 21 and nine, and, and uh, we understand that we have a, a huge game next Saturday, and, and then uh, we'll go to Las Vegas in a week and a half. How do you feel about your tournament resume at this point? I'm not concerned about that right now. We're, we're so focused on every game, every game, and, and uh, uh, we have one game next Saturday, and then we go to Las Vegas, and, and we feel like. Uh, we're as, we're as uh, capable of winning 
uh, games in Vegas as anybody else. I'm not going to say we, we could predict a, a championship, but we're as capable of winning games in Las Vegas as any other team in the league uh, because of our defense and our toughness. Coach, talk about the crowd tonight and also how big would, I mean, how important would the crowd be against the Bulls? Well, I, I hope the crowd is a little bigger than today. I thought the crowd that, that, that showed up today was good uh, and very energetic. So we're very, extremely appreciative of the people that came today. Uh, I thought it really helped us. The, the hard part for us is when we have, uh, we, don't, we don't have that energy in the building. We don't have a great home court advantage. Now today, today was a home court advantage. I thought it was tremendous. Okay, and next Saturday should be a sellout and the students will uh, be here. And so it's an ever uh, evolving process with, with with uh, traffic in LA, the student support, and, and uh, uh, I don't know what else we can do to, to uh, when you put f four guys in the NBA in the last two years, you got a, you got a lottery pick on your team now, you, 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 you've won 20 games for the last five years, and you compete for NCAA tournament and Pac-12 championships, you're playing teams that are good, it's pretty good basketball. So, so uh, the students, uh, I thought was decent today, uh, but, but the beginning of the game, you know, there's no reason we shouldn't have at least seven, eight hundred students every game, and UCLA, I'm sure, will have two, two thousand of them. But, but uh, it'd be nice uh, for the school and the student support to get behind our team. And uh, if you want to get, come see good college basketball, the Pac-12 is excellent this year. Andy, it seemed like Quinn gave you guys quite a few good minutes tonight. What would you see from him? Just generally stepping into that. Well, he, he he didn't play the he didn't play a minute two out of the last three games, and for him just to to stay in there mentally, he, he just he's a captain for a reason. The guy, the guy does everything right. He's a straight-A student. He's taking grad courses now. Graduated from Columbia. Uh, and, and he just works so hard. And he's encouraging to his teammates. He's, he's the best teammate, one of the best teammates I've ever coached. Because he doesn't care about himself. He just wants the team to win, and he wants to contribute any way he can. And tonight, he had to play 20 minutes, and, and wow, was he good. Mm -hmm. Defensively, he was exceptional. He, he did get blown by, uh, you said Remy uh, got him. Remy's hard to guard, by the way. Uh, but uh, he was in the gaps, he, he was rotating, and then offensively made those two big threes. So we're very, very proud of what he's done for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.